Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I know you want to get the correct part for your vehicle when something goes wrong with your cars. You will feel lost and uncertain about if the car parts are fit for your cars. Thing is, if you order the parts wrongly, it may cost you not only the money but also the precious time to wait longer for the repairing. I know, I know the headache and the lost feeling. No worries, you are not alone there. A good supplier is supposed to be able to check engine size by VIN number for you. Take us as example. Daily, we receive many questions and comments asking about if this part fit for my vehicle. Customers trust our professionalism and need our assistance to confirm the fitment. Then we will answer our customers. What's your VIN and chassis number? Fifty percent of the car drivers don't know what's VIN number and don't know how to do the VIN number search. To be honest, myself is also one of these fifty percent people who don't know what's car VIN number. So in today's video, I will explain how to look up VIN number and show you how to find engine size from VIN. First, let me quickly explain what's VIN. VIN stands for the Vehicle Identification Number. The VIN engine code can help you confirm the fitment. It also can help you to find the precise auto parts by checking the VIN number. Here you can see an example of a VIN number. The car's vehicle identification number is the identifying code for a specific automobile. A VIN is composed of 70 characters, digits, and capital letters that act as a unique identifier for the vehicle. A VIN displays the car's unique features, specifications, and manufacturer. The VIN can be used to track recourse, registrations, warranty claims, theft, and insurance coverage. Now you can understand why a good supplier is always asking you the VIN or chassis number. The original manufacturers may do the parts modification when they receive some claims from the market. The manufacturers will not inform the car owners for this modification, but the VIN keeps the original parts specifics thoroughly and correctly. Example. The turbocharger for the Nissan YD25 DDTi has four different types based on different direction exhaust pipes. The timing chain kit for Hyundai Accent i30, i40, ix35, 1.6 liter GDI for 2011 to 19 years has two different types as the manufacturer modified one of the chain for improvement. Such examples can be going on and on. So, the most prudential way to get the correct parts is still to confirm the engine VIN number. Double check to make sure that you have the right VIN and have it copied down correctly. Once you have verified that the VIN is definitely less than 17 characters, the VIN is most likely from a pre-1981 vehicle. Or if the vehicles are from JDM, Japan domestic market, the VIN may not be the 70 digits. Instead, it will be just like our picture shows. If you are interested in the composition of these 17 digits, see the breakdown below of the meaning behind each segment of the VIN. The first character tells you where the vehicle was built. The second and third characters tells you about the manufacturer information. Then the fourth to eighth characters is a portrait of the vehicle brand, engine size, and type. As for the ninth character, it's a security code that identifies the VIN as being authorized by the manufacturer. The 10th character tells you the model year of the car. The 11th character 
indicates which plant assembled the vehicle. As the last six characters, it's a serial number of the vehicle. All right, now let's proceed the most important part, and that's where can I find the VIN? The VIN can be found by looking at the dashboard on the driver's side of the vehicle. So number one, check the bottom corner of the front windscreen. The easiest way to view it is to stand outside the vehicle on the driver's side and look at the corner of the dashboard where it meets the windshield. Number two, check the VIN number sticker near door latches at the driver's side. If the VIN cannot be found there, open the driver's side door and look at the door post where the door latches were when it is closed. It is likely that the VIN will also be displayed in this location. See the image here. More and more modern cars are equipped with the car computer, which will have the VIN number information stored in the CPU. However, if you have difficulties to locate the engine VIN number, here I have some more places where it may have your car VIN number. Number three, search VIN number on the insurance car. Number four, check the build plate. In the build plate, it will contain the vehicle details, including the VIN number. Number five, check the foot well of the front seat on either the driver's side or passenger side. Many cars have its VIN number stamped into the floors, so remember to have a look. Number six, check the engine compartment. Some older cars have their VIN number revealed on the front panel, and some may have the VIN stamped into the firewall below the rain channel. Number seven, check the boot or the trunk area. Number eight, check the chassis area for the stamped VIN plate. Usually, the larger 4x4 SUV vehicles tend to stamp the VIN into the chassis frame or behind the front wheel. Number nine, check the user manual. The user manual will indicate the precise VIN plate location for your car, so you will have the idea where to do the VIN number search. All right, my friend, I hope today's video can help you to find out your VIN number with more ease. Leave comment below if you need the free VIN checking. Our team will reply to you soonest. As always, I appreciate of your watching and remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you very soon next time. Adios.